the founder of Merck Pharmaceutical said, put the client first and all else. And uh, do the things out of control. So you go to dynamics and we go to Mr. Beast mode. I can't wait to drive it. They're having a little software glitch right now, waiting for my paperwork to get finished so we can actually drive it out. But for right now, we just get to sit and play in it. But it is mine, life's good. We also have no hubcaps, but uh, Tesla's a little behind. Oh, one other thing, I did order this fully spec with the light bar. They said I won't get the light bar for two weeks, so I'll have to bring it back and then they'll install it because uh, in true Tesla fashion, they are behind on everything. This is so crazy. Um, I don't even know how to drive this fucking thing, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna hope we don't crash into anything, but fuck, here goes nothing. The gas pedal is so touchy. Um, something that's kind of screwed up is uh, we don't have any, we don't have any autopilot at all. Tesla said they're not gonna activate the autopilot for like one or maybe two months even. So, which is crazy, but it sucks. Fuck this, how do we get to fast mode? I said we were gonna take it easy, but we don't have time for that. Hey, check this shit out. This is my Rolls Royce in the Got that Rolls Royce in the rear view mirror there. Do it, we do it a little different around here. Uh, after this guy, we're gonna nail it. You ready? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, we already broke it. Let's go switch it back. We didn't do any of this. Right. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> How did I already break this shit? Uh -oh. Uh, I, don't to, I don't know how to turn the turn signals on or anything. All right, so we're locked in for a minute. <laughs> we'll follow. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. You see, even Elon admitted that the Cybertruck dug his grave. That was his own words. And he also said that if they allow the Chinese car manufacturers to come into the West and they drop the tariffs, which is, in my opinion, illegal, which it is illegal, actually, not just my opinion, that they will decimate, they will destroy all of the, most of the car manufacturers in the West. Why did he say that? Because he understands that the West has fallen behind and the only weapon that the Biden administration is using is tariffs to block them, to give the West enough, try to give them enough time to catch up. Excuse me, guys, as we see more tariffs are being proposed again by the Biden administration. Some people are saying, Mitch, we should completely ban, ban Tesla in China now. The Chinese should compete. And I said, no, I still say no. You see, Tesla is failing on their own and it will continue to happen until they go bankrupt. So if the Chinese were to block them in China, which is the largest car market in the world, they would say, oh, see, this is the only way they can stop Tesla. <laughs> so the Chinese know what they're doing, guys. Tesla will fail completely this year. Anyway, listen to this if you still don't believe me. This came out on Car Scoops 14 hours ago. Cybertruck breaks down 35 miles after delivery. You heard that right. Tesla allegedly says coolant leaks not covered. <laughs> Evidently, Tesla said that it didn't cover coolant leaks under warranty before recognizing that it needed to fix the truck. And see, I have a friend, I'm not gonna call no names, he's one of my subscribers, and he said, Tesla regularly do this. If you came in because a bolt did not have Loctite and it backed out, they will tell the mechanic, blame the, the, the client, tell the client it was their fault. And this has been going on for years. And this is why I say it's a failed business model. This is just one reason. A new Cybertruck owner had a major coolant leak only 35 miles into his ownership journey. 
When he first contacted Tesla, the owner claims that that automaker said it didn't cover coolant leaks under its warranty. Can you imagine that? How infuriated I would be? The automaker then reportedly relented and sent a flatbed to pick up the quickly broken EV. Those who crave a Cybertruck in their garage are understandably stoked when delivery day, day comes. For one new owner, his day went nothing like he hoped it. Not only was the delivery experience subpar, but the truck itself broke during his first trip to charge. To add insult to injury, he claims that Tesla initially told him it wouldn't cover the issue, even though he'd driven just 35 miles. After taking the truck into his hands, he, he titled his thread on a Tesla form 35 miles until cyber crap. I told you guys, it's a stainless steel homeless encampment. That's all it is. That's right, this Cybertruck broke down 35 miles into its life. It's not as though the owner was taking it on off road jump straight away. Instead, he picked up the in Pensacola, Florida, and that's when the real issue started. As you hear this, keep in mind that this is a truck that almost certainly cost the owner six figures. According to the original poster, Cyber Beast. <laughs> it's a beast, all right on Cybertruck Owners Club. They said it's over there. That's how they told him, it's over there. Let me know if you have any questions. The truck was dirty outside and some issues inside. Charge was at 47%. I've never picked up a new car without, without a full tank of gas. What the F Tesla, he, he tweeted out. Excuse me guys, that experience would likely make some customers feel dirty even if the car itself was a bit cleaner. Things didn't improve from there. Since the truck wasn't fully charged, the owner had to locate a supercharger station to top it off. Upon reaching one in Destin, Florida, cool, coolant began pouring out of the rear of the truck, while Tesla claims vapor may occasionally appear during charging for some vehicles. This was a continuous stream of liquid. Whoo! When the owner called Tesla about it, he said they initially stated that they didn't cover coolant leaks under the warranty. After a few choice words, <laughs> they said they would send a tow truck, says Cybeast. They believe it's at the service center now, but as of the writing, there's no word on how long the fix will take. Other Cybertruck owners should be cautious the automaker appears prepared to reject claims. Well, they've been doing this for years. That's a fact even when it's almost certainly a production error. And guys, you can find this on Cybertruck breaks down 35 miles after delivery on car scoops. So a lot of people are saying, Mitch, you keep bashing Tesla. This is not bashing. If you call stating the facts bashing, then yes, I'm bashing. But my goal is to wake up my subscribers and other people to understand why this company is going bankrupt and Elon's last hope is robo taxi and they will fail in that as well why do i believe they will fail in that i said it before pony ai already have robo taxis in china so the addressable market has shrunk and also they are coming on the nasdaq soon they teamed up with uh, toyota and neo has invested heavily in them they are way ahead of the game save yourself while you can so i hope you guys found this information i want to thank money making melvin in florida for this I hope you guys found this information to be helpful to you, to try to wake you up. If so, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.